What's been nice so far is to get a, a wide variety of people talking about their qubit systems. And I've gone to many conferences and people talk about this all the time, but it's been a little bit more focused on people building devices and the fabrication, the kind of things that Applied Materials is interested in. This has always been something I've thought about and worried about for my own qubits. And I, I like the focus of, you know, what do you have to do to build the good qubits? And I think that's very valuable for the field because we're now trying to build the qubits better, trying to scale them up. And this kind of focus really needs to be emphasized at this point. Uh, well, uh, you know, obviously, uh, people are interested in powerful computing technologies and there's a, you know, a big market for doing that. And quantum computing should enable a new way to think about doing uh, computing by using the laws of quantum mechanics. And the predictions are is that we should be able to do solve certain problems much, much more powerfully. And I was in, involved in an experiment at Google where we showed for a mathematical problem that you could get a huge speed up in the computational ability of that. And it's very exciting now that people are trying to push that forward to useful applications. And that's what people expect in the next, I don't know, X years. We'll have to figure out what X is. But um, this could really transform computing for certain problems. So it's very exciting to be in this field as we're trying to develop this. The big challenge is that it's, def def it's hard to do this, to build quantum states that are robust against the real world noise around us and the like uh, is, is a real challenge. And I'm gonna say, you know, I think we kind of can see that in this, uh, this workshop, that these kind of challenges are what people are really trying to confront right now and to make, uh, make uh, the fabrication better, which of course why we're so interested in talking with applied materials since they really know how to, how to do that. So um, there's just a lot of uh, work right now to understand the practical and kind of fundamental, the physics models of what's going on here. And I find it you know, very fascinating as we develop these various kinds of quantum computers to develop better models and better understanding of the materials and the, the way you put them together. Like I think I mentioned in the last question, I think it's going to be a lot harder to build a quantum computer and get millions of qubits working all together at the same time. And it's that like each qubit has to be designed and, and built, you know, very well and very reproducibly. So clearly applied materials and the semiconductor industry knows how to do that right now for CMOS processes and other processes. And I think it's a good time to take, I'm gonna call that that superpower of being able to do that and apply it to uh, you know, quantum, quantum computing. Now the difficulty is that in the beginning when you work on this, you aren't quite sure exactly what the materials and physics is, but I think we've been doing this as a field long enough so that you start having an idea exactly how you have to improve that. And that's certainly what's happening with superconducting qubits, which is something I've worked on for many decades. I would say in the last, let's say five to 10 years, we've really gotten a good model of what's going on and people have done enough experiments to see that so that when we come talk to people at Applied Materials, we can kind of explain to them what the physics is and then um, they can come back with us with a particular process or idea, and we can work together to figure out what might be the tool to solve the problem. And I'm gonna say five or 10 years ago, I don't know if we had quite the knowledge of the physics and the models of what's going on to be able to do that, but I think now's the right time where they can really make a big impact in figuring out how to build these devices properly. <music>